Okay, here's another example that we will tackle with the rational zeros theorem. We're given this polynomial, 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 19x minus 6, and we're told to find the zeros. So I look at this 6 and at this 3, and I think to myself, factors of 6 divided by factors of 3. That will give me a list of numbers, and then we could use positive or negative factors. So what are factors of 6? Well, that's pretty easy. 1, 2, 3, and 6. And factors of 3 are really easy, 1 and 3. So this will give me a list of numbers. I could have 1 over 1, which is just 1, or 1 over 3. I could have 2 over 1, and 2 over 3. And I could have 3 over 1, and 3 over 3 is just 1, and that's already in the list, so I won't write it again. And then I could have 6 over 1, which is 6, and then 6 over 3, but 6 over 3 is the same thing as 2, and that's already in the list. So I don't need to rewrite it. These are all the numbers, all the numbers that can be formed by taking factors of 6 and dividing by factors of 3. And the rational zeros theorem says that if there are any zeros of this polynomial that are rational numbers, then they will be in this list. So I just need to try these and see if any of those work. So we'll just go in order here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip the fractions for now, just because the fractions are a little bit more cumbersome. I'm going to try the 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 6. And then if I don't find any there, then I'll come back and either try the fractions or start trying the negative numbers just makes sense to try the simpler numbers first. So let's try 1 and then write our coefficients here. 3, negative 2, negative 19, and negative 6. And we do the synthetic division. So we bring down the 3. 3 times 1 is 3. We add and we get a 1. 1 times 1 is 1 and we add we get negative 18. Negative 18 times 1 is negative 18 and we add we get negative 24 and that did not work so let's move over here and try the 2. So set up the synthetic division 3, negative 2, negative 19, negative 6 and then here we go 3 times 2 is 6 we add there and we get a 4 4 times 2 is 8 and we add there and we get negative 11 negative 11 times 2 is negative 22 and we add and we get negative 28. Well, that didn't work either. So let's try the next one, which is the 3 over here. 3, negative 2, negative 19, negative 6. Bring down the 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And we add there and we get a 7. 7 times 3 is 21. And we add there and we get a 2. And then 2 times 3 is 6, and that works. We get a 0 remainder. So x minus 3 is a factor. And then these coefficients give us the next factor. 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. Now we need to try to factor this. This is a quadratic, so hopefully that can be broken up into two linear factors. And personally, when I have a quadratic here and there's a coefficient right there, I think it's kind of hard to factor. So maybe you can factor that as 3x plus something times x plus something. Um, and if you can do that mentally, that's good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the quadratic formula. And you'll see how I factor this with the quadratic formula. I'm going to look at those numbers there and say a equals 3, b equals 7, c equals 2. And we'll see if this works out. x is going to be negative b, which is negative 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, so c is 2, all over 2a, which is 6. And because of this plus or minus, we should get two more values for x, two more zeros in addition to the one that we already have. So this is negative 7 plus or minus, and what's under here? 49 minus 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. So I have 49 minus 24. That's 25 under the radical, and that's nice. So that's um, negative 7 plus or minus 5 over 6. And we can work that out to two numbers. Negative 7 
plus 5 over 6 is, that's a negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. So negative 2 over 6 is negative 1 third. And then negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. Negative 12 over 6 is negative 2. So I found, I found two more zeros. And so I'll, I'll write them. The zeros are uh, x equals 3, which we had from up there. And then x equals negative 1 third and x equals negative 2. Now, if you were able to factor this, let me just come down here a little bit further and show you that. If you had been able to factor that, you would have gotten this. x minus 3 times 3x plus 1 times x plus 2. And you can see that these zeros, these zeros fit these factors. x equals 3 right there. You plug in a 3 right there for x, that first factor is 0. x equals negative 1 third right there. If you put in negative 1 third for x, that factor is 0. And x equals negative 2 right there. If you put in negative 2 for x, that factor is 0. So this is the factored polynomial and these are the zeros. This is what we were told to find, find the zeros, so this is the answer to the problem.